five things to know about making a photography insurance claim. Number one, every claim is unique. We often get this question, what if, insert, hypothetical situation happened? Would I be covered? It's impossible to answer this question because every claim is unique. Maybe you've heard an insurance broker give you vague, evasive, unsatisfying answers. That's potentially because you're asking the wrong question. Instead of asking what's covered, you should be asking what's not covered. Most insurance policies work like this. Everything is covered except what is explicitly excluded by the policy. This allows for all kinds of unanticipated, unimaginable types of losses to be covered. It also ensures wordings aren't 10,000 pages long. When you submit a claim, the adjuster will look through the wording to see if an exclusion applies. Some typical exclusions are wear and tear, mechanical breakdown, and fungus. Number two. There can be many ways to prove ownership, not just receipts. Lots of people buy camera gear secondhand. Claims adjusters are aware of this fact. If you don't have original receipts, don't panic. You can still cover the gear with your insurance. Proof of ownership can take different forms depending on the loss. If a lens is cracked, the proof is the cracked lens in your possession. You would only need to provide documentary proof in total loss situations. Theft, destroyed in a fire, etc. In these situations, original receipts are obviously best, but in the absence of these, the adjuster may use their judgment or common sense. They may try to work with you to find creative ways to substantiate prior ownership. In all cases, it is up to the adjuster's discretion. They need something that will hold up, and they will be using their spidey senses. If they think something is suspicious, they will ask for more concrete evidence and they may decline a claim. So do what you can prior to a loss occurring to substantiate your ownership of the items you wish to have covered. Number three, file a police report first. When a crime has been committed, you will need to report the crime to the appropriate authorities. For a theft claim, an adjuster will ask for a police report number as part of your supporting documentation. This also applies in foreign countries. There are also special conditions related to theft from an unattended vehicle. There must be visible signs of forced entry. Basically, the insurance company is saying, if you leave your gear in your car, make sure you lock your car. They will need visible evidence that someone had to pry their way into your vehicle. So take photos of the broken glass or the scratches on your car. Without visible evidence of forced entry, your claim could be denied. The insurance company's policy wording on unattended, unlocked property reads as follows. We will cover theft of covered property from a locked container, vehicle, or trailer when there are visible signs of forced entry. This exclusion does not apply while covered property is in the care or custody of a common carrier. Number four, there will be a deductible. A deductible is the amount of the loss that you are responsible for covering before the insurance policy will respond. Say you have a USB drive stolen. Replacing it would cost $60, but your deductible is $350. Although technically the claim would be covered, it is below your deductible. So the insurance company wouldn't be responsible for paying any part of the claim. If you damage a $500 lens, you would pay for the first $350, your deductible, then the insurance company will cover the next $150. After you've made a claim, an insurance company will generally increase your rates. There is no one claim forgiveness, so it may not make sense to submit a small claim as you may end up paying more for insurance over the long run. Insurance is not meant to cover small losses. It's best used to cover the things that could really make or break your business. Number five, you can still withdraw a claim after you've reported it. The only person who can give you a definitive answer to the question, is it covered, is a claims adjuster. In order to speak to an adjuster, you will need to report the claim to the insurance company. The adjuster will then review what happened and the supporting documentation and advise whether coverage can be provided. Once you have a clear answer, you can either decide to proceed with the claim or to withdraw it. Don't be afraid to open a claim and talk to an adjuster. Get photography insurance in Canada. In case you don't already have insurance for your gear, Front Row's photography insurance policy is a good option. Many Canadian photographers have come to recognize Front Row as the industry's best coverage and rely upon us to protect their valuable camera gear. In case a claim does occur, you can work with your broker to resolve the claim and get compensated for covered losses as quickly as possible. 
or perhaps a different insurance policy would be appropriate for you. Contact us for a free, no obligation quote. We want to be part of your next shoot.